Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. We are playing blue-green Aetherworks Marvel. For those who don't know, Aetherworks Marvel was a card that was banned in standard during Kaladesh. And now we can play it in Pioneer, and let's see how broken it is. The point that you want to get with Aetherworks Marvel is you want to get these Ulamogs. You want to hit an Ulamog off of the Marvel. But I guess if you hit an Nissa, it's also probably fine. Um, I am concerned with the amount of... Uh, energy we're producing with this deck, right? Because we have only four rogue refiners and this takes six energy to activate and we have attuned with either, which means we either have to hit three, we have to hit three of any of these, three attuned with either or rogue refiner because they're each producing two. Uh, this also says whenever a permanent you control is put into a graveyard, you get an energy. So that could also be a thing, but... You know, typically the standard version had things like Long Tusk Cup, maybe? I don't know if that was in the, the Aetherworks Marvel version, but it definitely had, like, Whirler Virtuoso. We had all kinds of things. Oh, it also had, like, a bunch of these Puzzle Knots. Like, this one makes three by itself. Why aren't we playing the Energy Mana Elf guy? What the shit is that? And I don't know. You guys are going to ask me these questions, and I don't have answers for you because I don't make the decks. I just play them. Oh, Servant of the Conduit. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Didn't it have four of the green? This version did not. Though the standard version did. Because any two of these, and you're like, you're like, that's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good stuff. Right? But um Yeah, so as I was mentioning earlier, usually for deck critiques, I uh, have typically historically in the past charged 50 for them. Just because, you know, it's two hours, two and a half hours of my time. I have to find the cards. I'm making criticisms. I'm uploading it to YouTube. I'm doing a lot of work and like I don't want people to be like, you know, I don't want to get like 50 requests. I want to be able to limit it to people who want to support the stream. And it's not just solely like you're buying a product. You're also supporting the stream by that. But I was thinking of doing until like maybe Thanksgiving or until Christmas, all deck critiques for Pioneer, Standard, Modern, whatever, uh, 30 bucks flat. Just to try to help get a little holiday cash and also like just make it easier for people to uh, have their decks taken a look at and played. So if that's something that interests you, definitely let me know. Uh, you can email me at frank at franklaporte.com. Link is in the description below. Well, the email is in the description below. But for now, we're going to be playing this... This bad boy. And seeing what happens. In Pioneer. Hmm. So you had a question about Lurker, Lurker, and I thought about this a bit. Lurker's nice because it lets you cast either Walking Blister or Aetherworks Marvel from the graveyard. It seems a little narrow, to be quite honest. Um, you know, just being able to, like, play Emery and, like, hope... Not even hope. I guess you don't want to hit these. But, like, being able to tap in Emery to, to, to just target an Aetherworks Marvel from the graveyard or a Walking Blista from the graveyard and then just cast it. If you have, like, a Nissa out or, you know, being able to put... Like, because this is going to have a big target on its head in, the head in this format. And I'm going to close all of these previous matches. So, I don't know. I'm going to look up Aetherworks Marvel and see how many decks have presented with Aetherworks Marvel in it. Something's got to give. Some, literally just this one. And there are no Woodworkers Puzzle Knots. There's just four Emery and uh, two Seder Wayfinder, which is also interesting. And maybe you just want to do it so you can actually just, like, cast them for the graveyard. Why doesn't this deck play Aether Wind Bask? <laughs> well, you see, this hand is... It's interesting. I mean, being able to go Walking Ballista, kill something, Emery the Walking Ballista, recast Walking Ballista is actually not terrible. I'm going to keep this hand. We don't have many plays. We do have a turn two walking blister. If we draw any blue source, we get to play rogue refiners or emeries. And yeah, wayfinder puts, puts it. Well, I mean, it doesn't guarantee it, but yeah, it can definitely put, um, Aetherworks Marvel into the trash can.
Nyxborn Shieldmate, a 1-2 for 1. Oh, an Aether Hub. It's ya boy. Senor Hubbington. This does look like a heroic shell. If you're playing Nyxborn Shieldmate, it kind of has to be, right? Or it's just like mono, right, mono white aggro with like default better squire. Okay, okay. Let's play this guy. Uh oh. Next turn we'll play this guy. Uh oh. This is Jim Davis Saram Aura's build. It's a ton of. Wow. Well, why don't you brag about it, Sarah? Did you ever think about that? Ha ah. cha cha. Oh, look. It indeed is. Well, hot dog. Well, butter my bit. This this is a hard card to deal with. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm in the business of taking six here. But it might just be better to take six and then have a blocker for next turn. And we're just going to play Rogue Refiner. I just don't see us getting... That's, that's interesting. Is that guy any good? We kind of have to play Rogue Refiner because we, we don't actually have any other blue sources if we don't. Rogue Refiner at least gives us two energy for future activations of Aether Hub. That's not a land at all. Okay, this guy doesn't have trample though, so now they're like Griff's boon, and I'm like, well, in my face. Helm of the gods. And plus one free enchantment you control. Okay. God, Magic the Gathering is so friggin' weird, dude. All these decks that I'm trying that go like 5-0, I'm just like, but how? But how you do this? Um, alright, well, he doesn't have trample. So I'll do one of these jobbies. Oh, all right. Uh, like, all right. I guess we won't do one of those jobbies. <laughs> I'm being a terrible mistake. I guess it's not terrible, but still. Oh, land. Not a land. Okay. Guys, let's talk about drawing lands. I mean, unless they're going to give this dude first strike, I feel like we're... Okay, well, this is... <laughs> oh, boy. I don't understand any of these decks. I would make much different choices, I think, if this were... Like, I just don't see how we're getting six... Six energy for this card. Rex Sage. Well, Wicked Wolf and Rex Sage all come in. Um, Emery can just go. I'm just no flying. Take out one walking ballista. This is probably where we're going to be. Mystical Dispute's not great. Emery's not. Well, Seder still can hit us a land, which is pretty relevant. I 
Yeah, I feel like you can take out the two elves and the two Seder Wayfinders to put the... I mean, like, I guess it helps you find Aetherworks Marvel. But there's got to be a better way, right? Like, Emery and, and Seder Wayfinder help you. They kind of give you more copies of this. Because, like, you either get the copies back or they can help you, like, tutor into them, so to speak. But three Rex Stages and two Wicked Wolves seem pretty good here. We'll see, I guess. You know what? I'll keep it. I don't think we're ever casting this Ulamog, but I have to look at this hand and be like, is this... Is this six-card hand better than another six-card hand we could get? And I think the answer is yes. So... Can we play Serem next? I can definitely try that deck. I'm, I'm probably not going to do it tonight, though, because after this, we're going to play Fallen Order. Which is the Star Wars game, my dudes. Interesting. Let's just play Aether Hub here. Seder Wayfinder, try to hit a land, I guess. And swing and a miss. Alright, cool. Four cards go to the trash can. Oh, good. Well, that's hard to deal with. In fact, we literally have no way to deal with it. However, next turn we can go either works Marvel. Oh, good. We have no hits on that. <laughs> well, we can go either works Marvel next turn and uh, spin the wheel. And this is a cast trigger, not a. Not an enters battlefield trigger, so. You called me from the cold Just when I was low Feeling short of stable Remember this song? Is this a fuel song? All that glitters in this world Is sure to fade Let's do it Uh, click OK to continue. Boom. Let's go to game three. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Maybe the Wayfinders do suck. Crawl Harpooner could be decent. I guess it's not going to kill... <laughs> the problem is it's not going to kill their Hushbringer because Hushbringer... Shall, I'll just take... I'll just bring Puzzle Knots in. Okay. Keep. Lafof, what's going on, my dudes? Whenever you cast a spell that targets this, it gets a counter. All right, sounds good. Land of That's pretty good. Ah, 
Puzzle snorts? Puzzle snots? Oh my god. Just creatures, right? So we still got all our, our these things, huh? Well, both of these guys are turned off. Far away from me to home. Too far away. No. This is like, this is super bad for us. Okay, so this is what you draw a card and it gets plus two, plus two, sure. I did puzzle not. I did not. Oh, hi, little Mog. Oh, hi, Mark. God, this. This Rex Age would be great. This card's a real pain in the ass. Oh, come on. How did you lose? Well, they played one Hushbringer and we just didn't have anything to do about it. Doot, 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 doot. It's funny because I really need the land. Oh, hi, Lamarck. <laughs> See, that shit's, that shit's funny. Just playing this guy in case we have what we have no way to get rid of this. Wicked Wolf doesn't kill it now. Like walking ballista for four would, but we don't even have a third a fourth land, so we'd have to draw like fourth land walking ballista. Which is a pretty tall order. Griff spoon. Hmm. Oh god, pioneer boggles. Seems good. Oh, I can't block anything. Flying, flying, flying. Guess I'll go to four, six. Thank you. Go at four. Phil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, Oko, Thief of Crowns. So if I can, I can play Oko. I can turn this into a regular three-three. Uh, that wouldn't do anything because of Griff's boon. Um. Yep, that's the end. All right. So I already know what I want to like this. Uh, Cedar Wait. Oh, God. This card is not in your collection. Wow. That's crazy. It definitely does seem too cute, but I'm wondering, like, so... It gives you four extra ways to hit Aetherix Marvel and also helps you get Aetherix Marvel back into play, like... I also I also feel like Oko is a little too cute as well. Let's look up energy cards and see what we can mumbo. <laughs> energy. The funny thing is I don't have to search for uh specific colors or specific formats because if energy wait text i'm adding text to energy why is it three cards with text including energy is it not called energy oh my god how do i <laughs> it says two energy counters should i look for reminder text oh add symbol there we go okay energy there we go that's weird it was like searching for <laughs> Oh, no, I don't do that. Okay. Okay, we did it. Good lord, that was... That was a whole to-do. Um... The lack of interaction is definitely rough. Definitely rough. 
I do like Glimmer a lot. I think Glimmer could be very good. All that glimmers in this world is sure to fade away again. Uh, Rogue Refiner, obviously good. Servant of the Conduit also seems very, very good. I can't see a reason why we don't have four Servant of the Conduit in the deck. Like, you can just take out Lana War Elf. Oh, we also have two Elvish Mystics? Yeah, that's fine. Supreme Will is interesting. Harness Lightning would be great if we're playing three color. I don't know if we're on the three color train yet. Like, I think they just added Oko because it's just a very powerful card, but... I don't know if that's enough. I might take out the Okos for, like, Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Because, like, I'm looking at the deck, like, you just doesn't seem like you feel like you have enough ways to get six energy by the time you cast this, dude. Do I think Goose is better than, like, Llanowar Elf? I don't know. Uh, Nissa seems good because it's another card you can hit off Aetherworks Marvel. I wonder if this is a better configuration. Like, we have four servants, four goose. I wonder if we want one more land, too. I feel like we definitely do. I do like Tamio here. What just happened? Oh, it took out the island that I added. What does Tamio go for? That's a question. That's a question, I. Tamio seems sweet because like she can hit, she can try to hit Aetherworks Marvel or get it back. What is this Tamio? Collector of Tales. Cameo Tales. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 Tameo, what's behind you? I could see uh, Fabled Passage. That's a Tameo, got to find you. This is like the DuckTales theme song, but it's for Tameo. Come on, guys, that makes sense. D -d -d Danger. Looks behind. Look behind you. There's a tam. Also, the Walking Blist is much worse if we're not playing Emery, so I can get this piece of shit out of the deck. <laughs> um. Yeah, I kind of like this configuration. Fabled Passage. Do we have enough basics for Fabled Passage? Maybe like one Fabled Passage. <sighs> Is there a turn we want to land that comes into play tapped? I don't actually know. I think this is the configuration I want to go with right now. How do we deal with like a Hushbringer? Like it's a weird question, but it might be relevant. Because a lot of our cards, really, I guess Oko is an answer. We need one more card for the sideboard. What could it be now? Isn't there a split plummet card? Yeah, there is. It's called... Collision? Is that how you spell collision? Collision Colossus. I could see putting one on the sideboard. Alright. I do like our changes. Let's see if it makes a difference.
Heaven Earth is <laughs> that's not a split card. Mass manips in the sideboard with all the Nissa mana. That's not bad. I do like that a lot. I mean, we do have to draw a Nissa in order to generate Nissa mana. We also have to draw enough mana to play Nissa. There's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of asks. It smells good. Thank you. Rar Spada, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Grandma, congrats on the gifted sub. For those who don't know, Tequila is a... Uh, is a meme in the chat where Tequila is grandma. Voracious Hydra might be better than Wicked Wolf now that Oko is out of the main main deck. Um, No, there's three Okos in the main deck. What are you talking about? Not only did you call it the wrong name, you also didn't even know it's in the deck. There's three Okos. Get it together, Phil. Phil. Oh. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. All right. Good. Good times. Good times. Game shouldn't go long enough for Nissa if the deck is... Oh, but the thing is, like, you can flip Nissa off of your Aetherworks Marvel, so... <laughs> Those changes were great. Once I agree. Totally, totally just crushed it. There is a stranger. I've got to find you. New Emrakul. I'm just not impressed with flipping a new Emrakul. I guess you get to cast it, don't you? I'll keep this hand. I'm gonna goose. Because if we draw Oko, it's just better than drawing a Tuna Tather. Next turn, we can double a tune. Ishkar? Do you mean Ishkana? Also, Ishkana is rough because there's no guarantee we're gonna have Delirium. So then you just get a 3 5 and you're like, whoa, this is awkward. I'm uncomfortable with my Borg 3-5. I want creatures that are going to win me the game. Oh, jeez. Oh, I made a plant token, dude. I'm so cool. I'm like the coolest plant token dude ever, my dude. Oh, God. I just played the wrong land. I'm so dumb. Whatever. I don't even care. I was like, ooh, I want a nice distribution. I guess next turn. Yeah, we're just going to go Tamiyo next turn anyway, so. And then we can go Nissa after that. Oh, boy. Oh, look, it's a little... Oh, it's a little snake man. Now they're going to put two counters on all of their creatures. Ooh, this is actually really good. What does Nissa Voice of Zendikar go for? This strikes me as a card that's probably worth... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, that's pretty insane. Yeah, that Shut card's, that card's up to eight tickets right now, my dude. Knight, gonna go play some Outer Worlds so I can get around to watch your Outer Worlds odds. Aurora, thank you. Have a, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy Outer Worlds. There are a ton of different endings and things. So, presumably, uh, whatever ending you have will probably be different from the one I have. Okay, so they didn't put counters on everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's ten power, dude. Yeah, it's been it's a, it's really good. I really enjoy it. Either works, Marvel. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We did not hit that thing. 
Yep, this is gonna be pretty pretty brutal. I think we're dead here. Shut up and take my money. Oh god, it's even worse. Bucks, just bucks, for bucks sake. Oh, for bucks sake, Josh. Buddy, I appreciate you. Josh, thank you, my dude. Why aren't you just putting three counters on all your things and killing us? Like, if you just put three counters on everything right now, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You just kill us. Just kill me. Why aren't you just killing me? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just kill me? Oh, boy. Let's bring this guy in. Let's bring this guy in. So that did not go as planned. It's about sending a message. I wonder what the message is. Bring take out one of you. Take out one glimmer. One Nissa. One puzzle knot. Two Tamios. You seem a little slow. I finally got our, our, I got R started. What does that even mean? On Outer Worlds, I got far enough that, that guy to ask me to take out power for these people. I didn't like that, so I killed him on the spot. Don't know how that will, oh dear God. You're a bad man, you're a bad man. Because if we hit a land, we can just play Oko. I'm still at that damn robot fight? Oh, because you're playing on, like, survival maniac mode? I hear you. Well, we did not draw land, guys. So let's go get an island. Play that dude. And then pass the old turn. I haven't had the will to power it up since the computer... <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> What's going on, Matthew Ori? Okay, okay. I'm probably just going to play this untapped and then play Oko. <sighs> oh, it's a little snake, man. It's old Johnny Snakeman. Oh, look, they did the counter thing. Just like they should have. Let's play you. Get a forest. Play the forest. Make a food. Do you want to exchange control with this snake? We can make a food and then exchange control here. What does that do? I only have four energy. Do we really need the goose? I don't know. I mean, we lose Oko and Goose, but we take Winding Constrictor. Oh, we actually can't steal this. Its power is greater than three. Never mind. Is it power? Power three or less. Yeah, okay, so we can't actually take that. I always think it's like casting cost. I don't know why. I guess we're just passing here. We're going to make a food token. God, what's it like being so dumb? I don't know, man. It's hard. Well, I mean, at least we can glimmer, get two counters, and then hopefully Aetherworks Marvel and hit, hit your dude. Hit your boy. Don't hit your boy. Oh, God. 
Is this Pioneer? It is Pioneer. This is the format that never ends. It just goes on and on, Mike B's. For one. Oh, wow. It's going to be a three, four. Do, 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 Sure, you got it. You got it, my dude. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Pretty sure we just block one. It keeps Oko alive, which is probably better than our goose at this point. Sack of food. It'll burn your throat. Um actually fine with both of these we can play a tune draw the card uh, play the land then play Aetherworks Marvel play a tune island land Marvel one time okay cast you get rid of you and you. It is your boy. It's Chicken Sunday. It actually is Sunday, my dudes. It is Chicken Sunday, my dudes. Oh, that's cool. Hope you don't have an answer to Woolmog. You gonna put one counter on all these dudes? You are gonna do that. I'll block if you want to attack. Oh wow, this is aggressive. So 5, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, this is all fine. And we got a food token. Wicked Wolf, do you kill anything? You can kill this planty boy. So we can go... Hmm. <laughs> we can actually go Nissa. Tap, untap. We take two. We get to kill this guy. We get to make our food into a thing. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Nissa. One, two, untap. One, two, wicked wolf. Kill this guy. Um, target food becomes a food. Hmm. All right, so sacrifice of food. This is still a food, so we can actually still sacrifice it, which is pretty sweet. I mean, hopefully they just don't get rid of one of our creatures. If they do, we're dead. Yep, that seems fine. Nissa, Vivian Arcbow. That's good. Are you going to put that on the tippity top? No. You. Okay, both in the graveyard. Okay, I think we're good. Oof, aggressive. Is 
both going face? Yes, they are. This is not a food anymore? Sacrifice of food. This is still a food, right? Why can't I sacrifice it? It's not a... F it's... It's a green elk creature. Does it not retain its name? It says food is green on it. Alright, well, whatever. Magic's hard. Whatever, we get two counters here. That's pretty cool. Oh, we can also just hard cast Ulamog, I guess. Probably kill them in the process. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we just attack first. Uh, we're gonna have. Yep, this game is over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hardcast Ulmong. And this is why we play Nissa, guys. I'll keep this one. And we can still spin the wheel? Sure. Oh, what up, Chris? The grayed out bits aren't still active. What do you believe? Well, it said if it's a food, though. Its name wasn't grayed out, right? Right? Am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. Oh, what up, she Chris? One day when I get some gumption, I'll send you my Modern Soldiers deck so you can play it. Just have to figure out how to hold from... How to hold from wife? Hide from wife. <laughs> you have to hide the deck from the wife or hide the... What are you, what are you hiding here? You know what? I'll keep this hand. transaction <laughs> god good lord good lord uh let me add calm holiday from now through the end of the year all deck critiques standard Modern, Pioneer, etc. are only 30. Okay. And add plug. Oh no, add plus, that doesn't even make any sense. Hold on one second, guys, I'm adding things. Okay, hold on. Now I gotta go here. Ooh. Okay, okay, we did it. They played a land or forest, not a forest. The exact opposite of a forest. Quite. 
plug you plug out and use the only okay sure let's get another forest and by another I mean one whole forest yeah Frankel pour is actually my skincare company it's for all your pores it'll make your pores Frankel it's like sparkling but you know different I can force you to play a modern deck that runs two Sheldock Isles and 46 Shadowborn Apostles. Uh, um, well, you see. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to play this now. Next turn we can go Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot into other dudes. Next time we can play both of these. And then we can go Aetherworks model. Spin that wheel. Crack that wheel. Bang, 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 bang. You don't cast Shadowborn Apostles, you surgical extract them. Chris, why are you the way that you are? Let's get an island. Let's play an island. Let's play a Pozelle knot. And it's your turn, my friendo. This might be too quick for me, my dude. <laughs> Phil, I just got your email, my dude. Wasn't hugged enough as a child. Chris, I will make up for that every time we hang out. I will hug you. I will give you lots and lots of hugs. And then you can be like, this is almost like my real dad. And then I'll be like, I know, son. I know. Crack that whip. We can hug at BlizzCon. Oh, wait. BlizzCon already happened, didn't it? Yeah, it did. What are you talking about? God, every time we're so good at this game. Okay. I will cast you, Gulamog. Let's get rid of this dude and this dude. We're at 14. We're going to go to 9. I think this is actually fine. Correct, Mike B. Michael B. We can also crack this next turn get some more energy that gives us four more and then we get to spin the wheel again man woodweaver's puzzle knots super necessary in this deck yeah that's pretty good you can play sure cringe well we can play sage and kill this we can't crack this and play sage unfortunately what do you do oh wicked wolf is nice it does not give us the energy required for our i must construct additional pylons unfortunately the problem is i want to attack in case we hit another ulamog but if we don't, we probably just die. I guess we can see what we hit. Oh my god, we're so good at this little mock. Let's get rid of Snake and Nissa. Are we dead? I don't know, maybe. It's pretty bad. We block here, we take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and then when they kill us for four. Oh, I guess I could we could have kept the one that doesn't die, I guess. But we're not attacking with it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we just kinda have to hope they don't 
kill us here. Could you sing Rock Lobster with Mike B in place of Rock? Mike B? No, it's too, Rock Lobster, Mike B. There's It's two syllables versus three syllables, which makes it pretty hard. Yeah, they know. They know it's exact C's. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, this is so close, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's sad. I feel like this is a lot closer, though. Michael B. I like crack that whip and... Every time he says before killing me, like, yeah, you win the game, man. It's fine. <laughs> God, I hate when I have to win after you get good plays. Oh, it's so frustrating. Is there any card that I can wipe the board with? I mean, would it be better if we get rid of the, the walking blister? They attack for four. Or they shoot us before we go down to eight. No, because then we blocked the snake. And then we take do we still take eight. What if we got rid of the the, the four, five, and the walking blessed? We go to eight. They have three, 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 two, two. We block the three, three. And then they still get to keep Nissa. Matt, that might have been the play, getting rid of the two four power guys. That was probably correct. Catechismic Glare Hulk, the white the white gear hulk? I don't think that's what you're thinking of. This is our blue green deck, Matthew. Ori. Um I really just want a way to get rid of like a bunch of tokens. I actually don't hate one Hornet Queen. That seems pretty cool. They are playing Walking Ballista though. Yeah. Whatever, we'll keep going. So the problem with Cyclonic Rift is I don't think you can overload it, right? You can't overload a Cyclonic Rift off of an Aetherworks Marble, can you? I bet Mike would know that. Actually, he might not. Can you say, hi, Amanda? Hi, Amanda! What's going on? It's your boy. Turn to Oko. I accept. Or double rogue refiner. You just made a pretty lady's day. Oh, nice. Hi, Amanda. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Thank you. Oh God, no, that's not what we wanted to do. Oh, magic is so hard. Fudge, we hit the wrong button. Well, that's pretty good. Well, they had sensor actually, so. No, they didn't have it up though. Yeah, we could have actually just played an Oko and that would have been real good. Check two, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate you. I feel like the punt counter does nothing but make people feel bad. There's no there's no net positive for the punt counter. Now we'll play Noko. How about that? Alright, he resolves. Let's crack this guy. We'll attune with Aether. How's that sound? Good? Okay, we'll get another green. Make this a 3-3. Three, three. And I'll hit you. All right, so not not terrible. Not all is lost. Although they are cycling. they This is four cycling cards, so that is five cycling cards. So I feel like they're going to do some, some nonsense with us here. Uh, let's play you. One, two, three. We'll play Rogue Refiner. 
draw a card, play this guy, get an island this time, and now we are we're in the we're in the Aetherworks Marvel zone now, guys. Chefet Monitor. God, here he comes. Can never get away. It's unbelievable. Wow. You throw my shit on the ground? Just your shoes. On the ground, Michael? Yeah. You piece of shit. <laughs> You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy than Michael B. Wow. Scum? You are scum. Wow. Michael B. just got out of bed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just woke up, boys. No, no, I didn't. He totally did. He just woke He was like, hey, guys, morning. What are you guys doing? That would be even a feat for me. I believe in you. Wow. What format is this? Turtles. It's not. Prove it. This is just an old standard deck. Oh, snap. Michael B is here. Happy birthday. <clears throat> wow. That quick, huh? Mike B, what's on your dream breakfast pizza? What's a breakfast pizza? It's your, it's your dream. What you put whatever you want on it. I don't want a breakfast pizza. Wow. What a, what a hater. I don't want a breakfast pizza. Can our opponents kill us? I really have no idea. <clears throat> we could have activated Marvel again there. You mean if we got the second Marvel? Yeah, you're right. I got a Rogue Refiner instead. No, we couldn't have. Well, no, we could have. We would have got one from this. It would have been eight, and that would have canceled out the two we needed. But we still got a Rogue Refiner. I think well, it's still Was the deck fine. called Rats Off to you? Boy, I hope. <laughs> Mr. Tasty, you never responded. What's uh, what's on a breakfast pizza typically? Whatever you want, ma'am. It's your dream. <clears throat> you always ask people, hey, my, hey, man, what's my dream? You ever ask people that? <clears throat> no. Why not? Because it's fucking stupid, that's why. Well, I've just never heard of a breakfast pizza, so I don't know how to attack it. It's like a food I don't know exists. So make it. Like, what's the Will standard? it up. I, don't, there, I didn't think there was one, so I just made a breakfast pizza. Do you answer that question? Yeah. Okay, well, if if I'm forced to... Wow, <laughs> we're really holding a gun to your, Mike's head about this. Well, I guess if I have to answer your breakfast pizza question... Well, then... Well, I'd start with, first of all, the base. Instead of marinara, uh, <clears throat> I would use some hot sauce. Hot sauce? Yeah, not too hot. Just a nice, okay. nice picante. Of course, there'd be cheese. Of course. Probably mozz, a little... Maybe... Maybe a little ched. A little ched? Shut Maybe up a little. Take my money. Oh, Orange. 30 spooky bugs. <laughs> Phil, thank you so much, my dude. Let me add you to the queue. A little bit of, uh, let's see, cheddar, mozz, and, uh, let's see the cheese. A little provolone. Provolone? And I would have sausage on it, and a little bit of hash brown bits. Hash brown bits? And maybe some scrambled eggs. Scramby eggs. Top it all with a little Parmesan. That and sounds... By little, I mean a lot. That sounds disgusting. You just invented a disgusting pizza. What was yours? Uh, so I said the bread would be like a toast. Like a toast bread, so it's, it's not too far out of the realm of breakfast. Okay. And then I also had... Uh, I said we would put some hash browns on there, some scrambled eggs, and some crumbled like veggie sausage. And then I put some ketchup on that bad boy. Because I like ketchup on my eggs. That's like the same as mine, except you didn't have cheese. 
Yeah, because I'm not a dummy. You don't want cheese with your breakfast? I don't know. I just want to make fun of you. Okay. How does this deck win? I don't understand. For it to be a breakfast pizza, it would be have to eaten before noon. Mike wouldn't be interested. That's true, yeah. Well, no technically bacon. right now is before noon, so he can eat it right now. No bacon blasphemy? Yeah, um, I like bacon, but I I think it's overdone. Yep. Yeah, bacon is the most overdone food on the but planet. in a breakfast pizza, I consider it, that would be okay, because that's like the one time when bacon is acceptable as breakfast. <clears throat> or more acceptable, anyway. Lotus Field, huh? Or you know what? Just a regular old cheese pizza. Because what's <laughs> my, wrong with that? My favorite breakfast pizza is regular cheese pizza. I feel you, my dude. Oh, they're doing some nonsense here. I actually just had a breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito? Yeah. That's basically like pizza. Okay. It was from McDonald's, granted, so it wasn't that great, but, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to hit this bad boy. Ulamog. It's your daddy. It, is he your daddy? It is your daddy, my dudes. Hmm. You can get the lotus filled there? It's It has hex proof. Oh. Well, in that case, good job. And I think they have lost the game, my dudes. Oh, yeah, that mog got in there. Are you burping? A little bit. Are you burping, you disgusting pig? You pig! You disgusting pig! You know who that is? It's Chef Gordon Ramsay, Michael. I know. He's here for you, Michael. I don't see him. <laughs> He's in your heart, Michael. <clears throat> oh. He'll always be with you. You disgusting pig. Oh, oh, oh I got this. Breakfast pizza for me. Instead of marinara, the base is apricot jelly. Listen, go on with me for this. It's got goat cheese, prosciutto, and something leafy like green basil. Green um, basil? You mean fresh basil? Why did you read fresh basil? I don't as know. Green I basil? have no idea. I just read green <laughs> basil there. I have no brazil. idea. I have no Give idea. Give me that green basil. <clears throat> but uh, I'm a fan with of toast with jelly, so I think that could be okay. Toast with jelly. Toast, toast with jelly. Also, when you say goat toast, cheese, toast, that doesn't jelly, really narrow it down. There's a lot of goat cheeses. How many goat cheeses do you know? There's at least seven goat cheeses, man. Seven? Yeah. Name three of them. I don't know any of them. I can't <laughs> even name one. <laughs> I'm just, I know there is more than one type of goat cheese. That's all I'm saying. You got to be don't a little lie. specific. I don't have to be anything. You know my dad. Oh wow. We Could put be a nice pears and apples. Yeah. If you make the goat cheese Gruyere or not Gruyere, um, uh, ba 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 brie. Oh my god, we mulliganed and put one Ulamog on the bottom and then we drew two. You have to you be... have a way to put it back on top of your deck? I don't. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no Jace in Pioneer. Jesus, these Ulamogs. There's a Cavalier of Gales. Yeah, but like, you'll put two cards, you'll draw three and put two back, and then you'll just draw the, the next one during the next turn, right? Well, that's that's sad. If I could draw as many Ulamogs, as many lands as I've drawn Ulamogs, we'd be in good shape here. Because then we can crack this. Next turn, maybe we can hit another land. Unfortunately, we drew more Ulamogs than lands this game. <clears throat> totally normal. That's about right. List of goat milk cheeses. Okay. Yeah, look at all those. Huh. And you couldn't name three? Can you name one without looking? Chevra? Is Chevra goat cheese milk? Let's find out. Chevra Noir. I accept that answer. Okay. You got one. That's pretty good. How many do you think I need, Michael? Just one's better than me, so that's fine. Nailed it. I'm the goat cheese master in our friendship, so... I don't know. Get wrecked, <laughs> By I guess. default, basically. <laughs> that's it. I'll take it. I bet you will. What is a... Uh... Oh, never mind. I, I remember what it does. Do you? Yeah. You? I forgot what Mystical Dispute does, and I remembered. Oh, and then he remembered. Feta is goat cheese? Oh, that's like one of my faves. Is it really? No. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That would actually explain it's... All it's tart and sour? Yeah, that would explain its its sour texture. Sour, sour taste, rather. Man, I love feta. 
What I like is a good pepperoni pizza with feta on it. Oof, it's a good combo. Oh. People think it's weird until you try it. It's I think it's weird even after I try it a bit. Well, you don't really like pepperoni, so. I love pepperoni. I just don't eat it. So what if they start Pizza Hut start comes out with Beyond pepperoni? I would fuck. I would eat all day. I've looked for vegetarian pepperonis for the longest time. They just don't exist. There is a Smart Life brand veggie pepperoni mm -hmm. that looks like regular pepperoni, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but it's not available anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. It's this Smart Deli pepperoni, and I'm like, oh, where can I find these? And so I'll like go here to Amazon, and it's like currently unavailable, and I just literally can't find veggie pepperoni anywhere. Huh. And I wish I could, because a lot of times meat like that, hot dogs, pepperoni, sausage, whatever, it's usually, the the most of the flavor comes from the spices. Right, yeah, the meat is very, <clears throat> well, this is fun. Very much the bland part of it, except for the fat, fattiness. Feta is sheep cheese, I think. Hmm. Not a goat, but a sheep. Here's Yves veggie, veggie pepperoni. I don't even know where this comes from. Whole food. doesn't look as good. But I'd be willing to give them a shot. The only thing I'm trying to avoid with veggie pepperonis is not having that, like, really heavy soy taste. Oh, wait. Can we miss... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Get wrecked. Counter in your dig through time, my dude. That's brutal. Oh, are you going to counter this back? Oh, you're going to untap this. Some kind of cycling deck? Okay, sure. That's actually pretty good. Now you're going to pay for it, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, resolve that. And another one. Do you have another thing? Man, that was good because I was going to have to discard. Now I don't have to discard nothing. I mean, they have seven mana. That's a lot. Oh, new perspectives. Can I just top deck? Can I top? Can I do top deck? As long as you have seven more cards in hand, you may pay zero rather than cycling costs. I think they just kill us here. I think we die. Let's go on the tapped. Put on the battlefield. It does not. That's pretty good. Oh, we didn't die. Land. Fucking gilded goose, you piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to concede here. I don't want to fight through this nonsense. Come on, four lands. Three lands. <laughs> four lands, whatever. He yonk. Everyone knows the goose he yonk. No one knows that. He yonk. What's wrong with you? Are you drunk? Did you have some drinks on the way home? Yeah, man. I was drinking and driving. Oh. I was sipping out the bottle. When Did you get your... What happened with your tire? Getting it fixed tomorrow. Monday? Sunday? Yeah. Okay. How are you getting? Uh, well, <clears throat> according to my stepfather... Yeah, you never get one, man. Um, apparently, it, sh it should be covered. Oh, that'd be great. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, I looked at the warranty and I th online, and it didn't say it was like... It didn't say it covered stuff like that, but he seems to think it does. So he's going to go with me and like argue with him about it, which I'm I've, fine with. I've never heard of tires I mean, being covered it can't hurt to have them tried. oh you mean the tires may be covered right yeah okay that would make sense then i didn't buy them that long ago they're only land, like, land, land, land. Oh, we fuck. they're less than two years old i think my tires so maybe they're covered i don't know if they're not i'm probably gonna get one for now and the rest on a, on a further paycheck you never get one at a time man well they expensive i don't know maybe i'll just buy them all i could probably afford it Show me that Michael B again. But if they are going to cover it and it doesn't cost me anything and they're just going to give me a new one, I'll be like, yeah, sure. Which is the fake one? This one? Okay. So we're going to get rid of that one first. Not like it matters. Pop it and lock it. Aelor's Marl. Why didn't you? Oh, because you have one. Mm, okay. Where are you going, man? Adjusting yourself? Yeah. Did they not do anything? They just played a, a tappy land? Oh! 
Oh, yeah! See how excited I got there? What do they counter it? What do they going to counter it with? My dad? Yeah, your dad. They don't have counter What are you doing over here? I don't know. I'm, I'm, well, I'm in pain. <laughs> Let's just say that. Why are you in pain for? What did you do to yourself? I don't know. Why do you always do this? I'm trying not to say it on stream because it's, it's, it's another reason. I don't know why it's hurting right now. Your but Johnson? <laughs> no, the the boys. <laughs> your balls? Yeah, my left one. Your hurts. left ball is hurting right yes, now? Yes, it is. I don't know why. I don't know, man. That's not okay. It's it's, it's easing down. The ball is? <laughs> no, the pain from it. Do I just... I think I just sat on it weird. I don't know. You sat on your ball weird? I think so. That's the only thing I can come Fuck, up with. man. That's hopefully all it is. I didn't want to say anything, but, you know, you kind of dragged it well, out. Well, you were sitting in, like, a weird, like... <laughs> you are like, your your pelvis region was all forward? I was like, I don't know what's going on, man. Sounds like you encountered a sack attack. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't really want to walk into a sensor here. I don't think it's worth it. So we can actually just play... We have one, two, three, four, four mana right now. This leaves us with three, and if we actually make this food a three, three, it leaves us with two. But I don't think we're countering other, anything non-blue here. So I think I'd rather just get the damage in and have the other land to play. Michael B had a sack attack. <laughs> I did. It's gone now, though, so we're good. <laughs> You're like, I'm having a pain right now in my nether regions. I'd rather not discuss it publicly. Could be worse. It could never could be, be worse. torsion. Torsion? You ever heard of that? No. It's like this weird thing where, like, you're... Oh, they had the sensor. We played correctly. Nice. It's like this weird thing that can happen uh, to dudes where your, your nuts, like, twist themselves uh, around each other. And it's very painful and it has to be corrected surgically. I heard about it and I was like, that's terrifying. I would rather die. Oh, we have to we have to use a green for this? Yeah, that's how that works. No, I'm out. And for that reason, I'm out. Give me that mog! I'll never sit down again. Wow. Mog me one time. Mog him. Whatever nonsense you're doing, I'm going to counter it. Mm. Oh, biscuits. Can't counter that part. <laughs> you have to spend the energy, too? Yeah. Brutal. That's a cost, Michael. Oh, man, they totally mogged us. You're eating costs, Michael. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Michael, though you had pain... Well, the pain went away, so we're good. But the pain in his heart... Will, would nev stay. will never go away. Oh, we can... Sack of food. Pay two. Do nothing with it. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's real good. So, we make the goose a three, three. It forces them to do a thing. We go one, two, three, four, glimmer. No, we need the goose to crack a thing. I think you go for lethal. Yeah, but they're just going to have haze. <clears throat> I guess we could mystical dispute it. Honk, honk, honk. These are my gooses. These None of these are gooses. Now the question is if they try... Oh, they, we can't We can't Mystical Dispute it actually because they'll just have the extra three. But it forces them to have it or they die. 
They technically still can have it. It's true, but it's weird to play it post blocks because you just it's just it is. It's just weird. Uh, to 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 today, Junior. They have it. What are they doing? You're just gonna cycle this guy. Oh, and now they're gonna play it, and they're gonna hope we don't have mystical dispute. I guess. <clears throat> you got greedy, Martin. Are you ready? Are you ready, Boots? Yep. And then they die. But I did have it. It happened again. The mint chocolate chip happened again. The mint chocolate chip? Oh my god, really? That's super weird, dude. Twice in a row, huh? What the fuck? Dude, at this point I would definitely be like talking to talking to your boys at Briars. I'd be like, yo, Briars. What's the deal here? Where's my chips? Give me my chips, Briars. I would go to the Briar store myself and be like, where are my chips at? Excuse me. So, what are we, what's our record with this deck right now? Oh, uh, excuse me. Where are my chips? I do not have any chips in my mint chocolate chip. It's right now, it is just mint chocolate. With no chips. All right, so I think this is that. I think we're 2-2 two, two with this deck, which is actually pretty sweet. I think I like this construction a lot better. Are there chips lower down? The bottom is just a shelf of chips. There's just, the bottom is just coated in chocolate. And they're like, they all just melted and went to the bottom, I guess. What was different when you started? They had like Emery in the deck. You know Emery? Nope. <laughs> just give a short description and I'll remember. No, you'll never remember. You know why? Cause, oh, because you're, you're torsion. Why? Well, because you put this in the graveyard with it, and then you tap it to cast the Aetherworks Marvel from the graveyard. So it's kind of like having extra Aetherworks Marvels, but I just put Tamio in instead because it's just kind of the same thing. Okay. You're both revealing the top four with both cards. <clears throat> right. And, like, this is never going to get cheaper because you don't... You, like, I put these in. These weren't in here. And instead of Servant of the Conduit, they had two Land of War Elves, two Elvish Mystics. So they had four one-drops, four one but... Like, they didn't have any of these. They didn't have Glimmer of Genius, and they didn't have Tamio. They had three Walking Ballista, four Llanowar Elves, uh, four Emery, and two of something else. I forgot what the other two was. You see, we might have trouble getting enough energy that way. <coughs> the other two <coughs> were... Oh, they had... We put in one more land. So... Oh, oh they had four Oko. We took one We took one Oko out and added one more land. It's only playing and 20 they had two, lands? Two Seder Wayfinders, too. Yeah, but you have four Attune with Aethers, so it's kind of oh, like 24 yeah, okay. lands. Torsion is no joke. I get hit it twice and had to have two merch. Oh, Jesus. All right, four matches with this deck. Not too bad. Uh, I think we're going to call it here because this is... We're actually... I want to play some Fallen Order, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore. It's a great way to support the channel for like $1 or $2 a month if that's what you want to be able to uh, toss my way. And uh, f until the new year, we'll say, all deck critiques are going to be 30 bucks instead of their normal price. So if you guys are interested in that, it's a great way to support the channel. And... Uh, it's a great way to get your deck played and uh, examined by me. So definitely check that out. You can email me at frank at Frank Lepore, which is also in the description for the video and my Twitch profile. You can check those out below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys later.